You know, it's a good thing your wife can't see the heart monitor. She's already freaking out about you being in surgery and having a newborn at home. She would completely lose it if she knew your heart had stopped. Do what? Who are you? Where am I? What's going on? What's going on? Well, right now, a team of doctors is frantically trying to figure out how to get your heart restarted. You, you went in for gallbladder surgery and had some kind of weird reaction to the anesthesia. And then your heart stopped. They don't usually do that. How do you know this? Who are you anyway? So, what are you going to do with those beats? Beats? Heartbeats. Well, I, I thought you said my heart stopped. Well, what is this place? From the moment we're conceived, it's wired into us how many beats our heart is going to have. You can't change it. Well, sure you can. You can change it. You just exercise, try to keep yourself healthy, and watch your cholesterol. All that crap they tell you when they try to sell you cereal. So, you've never heard of people who are perfectly healthy suddenly just falling over dead? Athletes, distance runners, and their heart just stops. And then you've got people that by all logic should be long gone, but their heart keeps going. Cardiac patients that 20 years after they're supposed to be gone are still alive, and nobody knows why. So what? So what? You think that's a so what? What difference does it make? What dif- I cannot believe you. It makes all the difference in the world. You've got to decide how you're going to use those beats, because anyone could be your last. How many do I have left? How many beats? Now that, my dear friend, is a so what. So what? Why wouldn't that matter? That doesn't make any sense. So you got a hundred beats. What are you going to do with them? Oh, I, I, I don't know. No, I, think, think. What, what are you going to do I with a hundred beats? Are you, are you going to play some ball? Or maybe rock your daughter to sleep? Or maybe you're going to sit down in the easy chair and complain to your dog about how crappy your life is. Who are you? Who are you and why do you know so much about my life? So you've got a hundred beats. Are you going to go for a sprint? Or maybe you're going to walk. Let's make it a thousand. Are you going to make love to your wife in the morning? Or maybe go into the office early so you can flirt with Linda in engineering. How about 10,000? Maybe 100,000? Oh, Linda, who are you talking about now? Linda, tall, long dark hair, legs that start yesterday and go on until tomorrow. So you brought me here to lecture me about my behavior at work? It's, this is about my morals? First, I didn't bring you here. I met you here. And no, it's not about morals. It's about choices you make every day about how you're going to use those beats. Y you see, each one of us have things that are, that are wired into us that are going to bring us joy. We can spend our days doing meaningless things. Or we can listen to our soul cry out and do things that put us at the center of what gives us joy. So be true to myself. Did you get that from a Hallmark card? No! Be true to who you're made to be. Follow my heart. No. Follow your soul. It lasts a lot longer. <laughs> so you're saying that I should just give up basketball for fun? I shouldn't run? Not even try to live a healthy life? I, I didn't say that at all. The thing is, you have to decide what you're going to do with those beats. If you don't play basketball, if you don't pound the pavement for a couple of miles, at the end of the day, does it feel empty? You're really good about making choices that bring pleasure and happiness. You make those choices all the time. Some people measure their life in, in years. Some in days or moments. 
But it all comes down to beats. It all comes down to beats. So, what are you gonna do with those beats, son? I, I think... Oh uh, man, I gotta get home. I, I don't know about tonight. Come on, you got time for one game. Uh, I don't know. I kinda got plans tonight. 